much yes, no boss. Money is peanut. One hundred dollars for peanut. Money cannot grow in the pocket. Money cannot send in the pocket and grow interest. The more you spend, the more you receive from the peanut. I advise them mineral, calcium, protein, cheap discount. The more you buy, the less you pay. One for hundred, six for six hundred. I'm here with guarantees. So if you buy, you eat your belly, no feel good on your mind to the side. Peanut cash. When you don't need your camera, you back and get back your money. You don't have to worry if you have pressure to come in. I'm the budget for me. I'm gonna come around and read them. I'm gonna explain to them good things. Can understand, amen. So me have that to the church and that to the church and that to the south and that to the south and that to the sugar and that to the sugar. Six hundred five hundred. We better come there. We better come in. We better raise them. I don't budget. We better raise them. Two Westmoreland hotel worker mowed down by a woman who said she fell asleep at the wheel. Two hotel workers were mowed down a short while ago in Belmont in Bluefield, Westmoreland and are said to be admitted in serious condition at the Savlamar Public General Hospital. When the news visit the scene, the driver of the hill fated Toyota Axia motor car, who identified herself as Jodian, said she briefly fell asleep at the wheel. I fell asleep when I opened my eyes. I saw a car coming and I swerved. I didn't know where they were, she said, as she climbed into the back of the police vehicle. Unconfirmed reports are that the hotel workers were walking home in the direction of Whitefield when they were struck by the car that was traveling from the opposite direction <coughs> heading to Savlamar. Me hear somebody under the car, a ball out, help, help, we assist them, we lift up the car and get out the first one, the male, and then him tell we say, J, the female, the under the car, and we lift up the car to get her out, a good Samaritan who did not wish to be named. The man said that after lifting up the car, the utility pole caught fire and he ran in fear of his life. The community is left without electricity. He said, after the pole broke in half with wires torn down, he said an ambulance later arrived on the scene and transported the two injured persons to the hospital. A manager at the hotel resorts reportedly Rush to the hospital on hearing the news. The two injured persons are said to be in employees of the Bluefield Bay Villa in Bluefield, Westmoreland. But I may tell you, we always tell them, say, if you don't want to sleep, park, come off of the road and go one side. Do not drive and you feel like you want to sleep around the steering wheel. I can go one side, man. Nah, dear, nothing. Another Christmas in jail for alleged cult church killer. Andre Rodak, who has been implicated in the killing of a woman during a deadly church ritual in St. James last year, is to spend another Christmas in police custody. A case and plea management hearing which was scheduled for Thursday failed to get on the way in relation to the matter resulting in Rudak being remanded in police custody until January 23, 2023. The development occurred when the accused appeared in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston on Friday via Zoom platform. Rudak who was a member of the Pathway International Kingdom Reservation Ministries in St. James, is charged with the murder of Tanika Garden, who was employed to the Appliance Trade Limited, ATL. The court heard that the prosecution and defense were still in decision, leading 
to subsequent delay in the plea case management hearing. A result, Ruddock was remanded until next year. He is expected to make a physical appearance in court at that time. In March, a forensic evaluation determined that the accused man was fit to plea. The details evaluation is said to contain among the other things. The accused man's state of mind at the time of the controversial incident that the Montego Bay Base Church last October. Police report that on Sunday, October the 17, 2021, the congregants were gathered doing a suspected ritual at the church on the instruction of now deceased confessorial pastor Kevin Smith. During the event at the church, Smith reportedly instructed the congregant to sit the slit gardener's throat. The individual refused and Ruddock allegedly grabbed a knife that was hand and used it to slash the woman's throat in full view of other members of the church. Boy, my viewers, I tell you, say, I think drastic. Rudak reported to give a caution statement in presence of two justices of the peace, JPs, for the parish of St. James. A day after the incident, he was eventually transported to Kingston, where he was charged with murder. Smith died in a motor vehicle crash on Monday, October the 25th, before he was charged. A police later identified as Constable Orlando Irons also died as a result of the crash on the Linstead Bypass in St. Catherine.